Evening, new at six. The second school year since Red for Ed protests is in full swing. Thanks for joining us, everyone, for 12 News at Six. I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr, in for Mark Curtis tonight. New survey results released today suggest Arizona schools are having an easier time keeping teachers in the profession. But plenty of concerns remain. Yeah, take a look at one of the facts that stands out in this survey. Total teacher vacancies went up in 2018, but dipped slightly this year. Now they're at 1,444. Team 12's Joe Dana joins us now in studio with more. Joe, is the governor's 20 by 2020 plan helping to bring that number down? And, well, listen, if you ask the association that tracks teacher hires and retention rates very closely, they say the raises have made some impact. It's not often that educators in Arizona see progress when it comes to the teaching ranks, but an association of school administrators sees a bright spot. I mean, initially and even current, we saw greater retention of existing teachers. The association's annual survey of more than half of school districts and charter schools in Arizona shows the percentage of teacher positions that remain vacant is at 21 percent, a slight improvement from last year. 12 News can verify that, yes, teacher retention is improving though the situation still feels dire for many. As a mom and as a teacher, I'm watching highly qualified individuals jumping ship for better opportunities all the time. We followed Pinnacle High School teacher Katie Fizz since she marched in the Red for Red protests in 2017. A year and a half later, Fizz and colleagues have seen raises of 15% or higher. Still, Arizona is near the bottom in teacher pay. Even in the face of that, I think that there's still a group of us that still want to remain optimistic. The survey also shows schools are struggling to bring new teachers into the profession. What we haven't seen is the increase in the pipeline uh, to fill our demand. The survey addresses the number of positions filled using alternative methods, like hiring long-term subs and non-certified teachers. That number has gradually gone up every year and sits at 3,357. Although there's a lot more opportunities to become alternative certified, there hasn't been the funding to help support these individuals to grow as a teacher, to grow their professional practice uh, as they move and continue with their teaching career. Now the governor and legislature created the Arizona Teachers Academy as one way to produce new teachers. It pays the tuition of students who agree to stay in Arizona to begin their careers. The Board of Regents says the academy is supporting 3,000 perspective teachers right now. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thank you.